Good morning guys. It's partially cloudy out and the temperature is going to be around 80 but quite frankly it feels quite cool so it might not even really reach 80 but if it does it won't be it won't be a very hot 80. Anyway um I want to welcome my new subscribers thank you. I appreciate it. I really do. We'll get down to business here in just a minute. decided that I was going to have mostly protein and no vegetable carbs yesterday and um, apparently like that might have been too much but um, I didn't overstuff myself but I'm trying to find that perfect balance now because I don't want to overeat I really do not want to overeat and I don't want to eat again either way if I overeat I feel guilty if I eat again I feel guilty so I'm working on finding that perfect balance and um, so yesterday was not the perfect balance now if I had had one less item of food on my plate it might have been might not have been I don't know I came in at 182.8 that's just two ounces up which is it's not bad I mean I have said before even just losing one ounce it's one ounce and it does weigh something so yeah two ounces raise something as well but um, you know I'm not going to fuss about it because um, it's just a little bit I discovered that uh, you know how chicken breast can be like dry in the center when you fry them and like you can get that coating so good but if it's a skinless boneless chicken breast the center is flavorless and dry because you know you do have to get that chicken done right you've got to get it cooked thoroughly so um you know uh it's just it's dry very dry and unpleasant personally I don't like fried skinless boneless chicken breast I really don't because there's there's no juice in it you know uh, when you get yourself boned yeah because the bone uh, allows those juices to kind of mingle in there it makes a difference and the skin is also part of the flat fat which helps make for the flavor so anyway I thought there's got to be a way that I can use my chicken breast instead of them staying in the freezer and getting destroyed by freezer burn and so I thought okay I will make sure that a piece is thawed really good and I will slice it and turn it into fried chicken fingers and sure enough so I use um, a flour with a mix of salt and pepper onion powder uh, poultry seasoning and curry I tell you what the that is absolutely delicious I don't deep fry it 
but I do skillet fry it in a mix of vegetable oil and butter and those chicken fingers are so good you might as well have gotten them at a restaurant they are good and as my dipping sauce I make a mix of um, uh, ripped cream cheese and ranch dressing and believe it or not it comes pretty close to tasting like French onion it comes pretty close and so I use that as my dipping sauce and I tell you that's good that is good and I'm only using one chicken breast rich um, it averages anywhere from three to five ounces it's according to the size of the breast and that's all I'm using just one breast and I cut it into four slices and so um, I don't coat it with with egg and I don't cut it coat it with butter or I don't coat it with egg or milk I just I rinse the meat off so it's good and wet and I roll it in the in the flour mix and fry it in the in the pan and I make sure that the oil and the butter is deep enough so it at least comes up halfway onto those chicken fingers that way you only have to turn them once anyway um and that works out just right one piece of chicken is about 23 28 grams of protein that's pretty good and so yeah um i found a way to fix my chicken so therefore i've got a variety besides just hamburger patties um but yeah but anyway, you know, as as you go along with meal prep and you know that you can eat anything you want in that meal, it's still a process of learning that right balance so that you're satisfied all the way around and there's no problems. And so I am finding that with OMAD, and the fact that hubby works during the time that I eat. <laughs> I'm learning to experiment a little bit with my food. I never used to. I used to just have plain stuff, but I'm learning to experiment with flavors and really bring it out so that it's more flavorful. So, um, yeah, with OMAD, you can kind of play around and and just see what you can come up with it's kind of fun and it's different <laughs> anyway um so no me having the chicken fingers is not the reason why i gained uh, i had chicken fingers the other day as well and dropped from 83 back down to 82 so no um it's just a way of me getting rid of that chicken instead of it staying in the freezer. And I'm getting protein out of it. So it still comes down to the basics of having plenty of proteins, fats, and carbs, and it not being a large plate where you're overeating. I'm still finding that balance, but I definitely know not what to do so that's the that's the main key now for me to take off and run with that i'm so tired of being here in these 80s i'm ready to get into the 70s i'm ready let's go let's move it let's get out of here anyway you'll be seeing me tomorrow with another journey vlog uh i thought that there was something that i wanted to specifically talk about but um i guess it wasn't important Anyway, I love each and every one of you guys so very much. Have a great day.